Jason Garber is a critic with TwitchFilm.com and joins us in Toronto as always. Jason, good to see you. Hello, Scott. Okay, let's start with the uh, most interesting title, uh, Z for uh, Zachariah, or as they know it in Hollywood, Z for Zachariah. Right, so this is a film I saw way back in January at Sundance, and I love this movie. This was the best film I saw at Sundance, and I'm kind of zealous about this film. I think it is incredible, and it's getting a little bit of short shrift from um, um, a lot of critics, and a lot of audiences aren't going to sort of seek it out. And this is one of those movies, when I see hundreds of movies a year, go seek this one out. As True Tell Agia 4, Chris Pine and Margot Robbie in it, um, three amazing stars, and it's this beautiful, elegant little story about a woman who's the only one left in the world at a post-apocalyptic event until she runs into somebody and then runs into somebody else. Now, that sort of reminds about a TV show that came after the film. We know Margot Robbie now for stuff like Focus, and she's showing up in Suicide Squad. So when, since I've seen it, there's all kinds of other stuff that has come out of her. Um, she's the woman from Wolf of Wall Street, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, but this is such an incredible, elegant, beautiful, well-constructed film that's demanding of a larger audience than it's ever going to get. So when you're thinking about, what should I watch? What is that crazy guy with all the big hair on TV says that I should watch? <laughs> this is one of those. Zephyr Zachariah, absolutely one of my films of the year. I have to follow this up then with this. Does it put it on the radar for some award shows? Unfortunately, there's not enough people like me that really love it. So I'm just worried that it's just not getting the sort of oomph that I wanted. It needed to come out of Sundance as a total slam, and I unfortunately didn't get that. Okay, uh, David Foster Wallace gets his own uh, biopic. Another Sundance film. This one's pretty good, but not particularly amazing. I know a lot of people that actually know uh, David Foster Wallace uh, or knew him and actually find all kinds of uh, problematic elements with the story. We've got some good performances, but it doesn't come together as a film. Um, uh, why not? What happened? Um, it just it, it feels like one of those Sundancey films that like uh, tries super hard. Like Jason Siegel's great as David Foster Wallace. You have all these elements that s want to work, but just don't quite coalesce the way that they should. It feels like a film that's trying too hard to be relevant and doesn't quite come together. Okay, last minute here goes to uh, Owen Wilson in an action movie. Really? Yeah, No Escape, along with Lake Bell, who again I love the cast. There's so much to like about this. Pierce Brosnan shows up and he's looking particularly dashing. In his, in his older looks, but but nonetheless, look, I'm a big fan of titles like Battleship, where there's battles and ships. This is a film called No Escape, and guess what? There's a bunch of escapes. So it, it's like a film that's trying, just trying to be edgy. It's got some really nice elements, some good action sequences, and the characters are pretty good, but as a film, it doesn't quite come together. If you're looking for one film this weekend to actually see, see for Zachariah is absolutely the one you should seek out. Follow Jason at Twitter uh, at uh, FilmFest underscore CA. Jason, thank you very much. Thanks so much. Now, as we go to break, the MTV Video Music.